Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Help Edition. I'm your host, Vic Manon. Today, we're going to be interviewing Ms. Tana Lakshmi. Welcome to the show. Ms. Tana is, of course, Malaysia's finest runner, uh, representing us in Sukma in the Sea Games and also Miss Universe Malaysia finalist, top 10. So, welcome to the show. Hi, Vic. <laughs> yes, it's been a while since we last met, hasn't it? Yes, yes. So, Tana, uh, straight out of the bat, two industries that you're in, Major contrast. Why did you actually join the pageant? Because I wanted to give it a try. It was totally different as compared to the field, the track and field. Uh -huh. The world is totally different. The world, the, that is deep. That is very deep. I like that. Deep. I like that. So, uh, what can you tell us uh, that you learned from track that you could apply in the pageantry? What I learned from, I would say that track literally built me and it gave me a lot of confidence the determination, the perseverance that I used it on the tra uh, on stage itself for the pageantry world. So how was it like uh, once you got into that industry? How was it like? What, what were the pros and cons in the pageantry? Pros and cons, I would say that despite my self-esteem, my level of determination, everything was just there. I thought the pageantry world literally took it to an extreme level. Mm -hmm. It took it higher than I actually expected it to be okay. because my level of patience, my perseverance was also tested there. Okay. So I'd say that would be the only thing, like the pros. And the cons would be, if you are not ready, if you are not prepared, and if you are a weakling, then it would literally shatter you. I think one of the cons also can be, uh, what was your recent pageantry? Uh, uh, Miss Glam. Miss Glam, you wore that. Introduce interesting. The national yeah, costume. Yeah, oh my god. In yellow. How could you move in that? That would be <laughs> It was tough. It was really different. Um but then I think yeah, it goes back to your confident level. Mm -hmm. The only thing I was just saying that to myself was that um I'm I'm actually representing my country. Mm -hmm. So that was the only thing in my mind and yeah, it went well. Uh seconds before you step onto the stage of pageantry. <laughs> What? That's what? a scary question. Yeah, I mean like what is the one thing that's going through your mind at that very moment? That very moment, I think the the only one thing that's going through my mind is am I going to be able to walk right without falling or tripping? Is the whole event going to be a success? As your friend, I just want to say that if you would have tripped, I would have laughed first. For at least like five minutes, then helped you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing, you know. I don't want to embarrass myself up on stage, uh, you know. That's that's true. Oh, yeah, but... The, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the thing about the whole pageantry why I'm going, going into it is because I think you're quite familiar with uh, Samantha and uh, her whistleblowing uh, moment yes, yes. of the whole pageantry. On Instagram. In case you viewers don't know, uh, Samantha was the one that opened up the lid on the whole pageantry and what was happening behind the closed doors of the pageantry. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about, uh, for starters, how the pageant used to pit you girls against each other by spreading false rumours of one another just to promote their TV show. Okay, I would say that I had an incident for that. Um, I kind of sprained my ankle before the press conference that mm -hmm, was mm -hmm. a day before. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the press conference day, they had an interview. They interviewed her and they asked one of my friends because there was two athletes in the whole pageant, okay, that my batch. And uh, they went and asked my friend, like, uh, do you think Tana is your rival? Mm -hmm. What do you think about her, her ankle injury, you know? Do you think she'd be able to make a comeback? And then they came to me and they asked me, do you think uh, your friend Laura is your, ri or your rival? Do you think she did that on purpose? She, that she wanted you to be injured so that you can't make a comeback, you know, towards the pageantry and all that. So there was a lot of contrast because the fact that um, Laura and I, we've known each other for very long, mm -hmm. since Bukit Jalil years. So, you know, why would we want to do that towards each other, you know? So. What was your opinion on the whole uh, opening of the secrets uh, that Samantha did? I would say it's a good thing, you know, that because many people would not want to come up clear and they wouldn't want to stand up for themselves. They would just take it as another lesson learned and move on in life. But I think what Samantha did was right. I mean, she wanted the truth to be told mm -hmm. so that people would be aware of what is really happening. And probably the, organizers, uh, the organization, they would, you know, try to make things better within the internal 
Okay, very uh, briefly, what can you say uh, happened after this whole situation uh, came to the public's attention? What did the organizers do to damage control the situation? I would say many organizers and sponsors literally backed off because they didn't want their image to be affected. And uh, I think it was a very good lesson because now that we know what the true pageantry world is like, I think the organizers would step up their game and change the whole thing. All right. So uh, we're going to take a short break, but we'll be back more with Tana after these commercial breaks. My name is uh, Bob Azhar, or real name is Muhammad Azhar Ismail. I'm the uh, studio manager for Help Me Da Studio. And also a tutor. I'm teaching the students, I'm lecturing, I'm disseminating knowledge to them. And I, I, I join them and learn about what their passion. Not everybody is passionate in doing video production, publishing, uh, design, but some do. I want to get this, this special people to be able to, to ignite their passion, ignite their creativity. Go camera. I want to actually share my knowledge. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joined with Tana, and we're going to be continuing off where we last left off. So, after the whole lid blowing of the incident, and then truth started coming out about the pageant, we learned that a lot of the contestants were, for starters, set with a very small ration amount of food to get them through the day. As one a contestant uh, uh, said that they were only allocated 1,200 calories when the required medically for a woman is 2000 what did you think of that were you spying on me because <laughs> i went through the same thing you know like uh, i'm just a good investigator <laughs> <laughs> the fact that um we were all provided with one box uh, per day per meal it wasn't enough because many of us our portion varies mm -hmm. you know some of us we have a bigger size portion of meal and all that so like for me it wasn't enough the fact that i had to juggle between track and field then and also the pageantry mm. work, it wasn't enough mm. for me. That that would make things very problematic for you, I think, because... Yes, it was towards SEA Games some more, so... Yeah, then you would need more food to more actually... More food, yeah. So then, what did you do when you broke the news to the organizers? I told them, and they provided me with uh, the gardenium bun, the 60 cent one. Yes, because that's yeah. definitely a lot of calories. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I think they had in mind that models and pageantry girls are supposed to be slim and thin. So, um, the question that I want to ask you is, given a chance, would you choose athletics and or the pageant world? And uh, what would you choose and why? It's getting really hot in here. <laughs> That's because of the lights. Are you sure and it's my not your question? <laughs> and my general aura, so... You know. Okay, so if, if I'm given a choice between the athletics and uh, pageantry world, I would definitely opt for athletics because in athletics, people are much more real mm -hmm. as compared to pageantry because you do not know if your friend is actually a friend or if she's a rival mm -hmm. or if she's actually faking herself. You you really, literally don't know at all. Yeah. Like pageantry, in athletics, it's like totally different. If I don't like you, I just don't like you. You can see it on my face. Okay. Yeah. And in pageantry world, it's like people fake most of the time. Okay. The only time they're themselves when they come out of the toilet or when they are in the toilet because it's like your own time, your own space. Mm, okay, so on that, what would you say to younger girls who want to join this particular uh, contest? What would you say to them? If you're not ready, just don't step into the pageantry world because it's going to crush you, it's going to break your self-esteem, it's going to literally hurt you. I would say that. But if you're ready, if you're ready to take the challenge like me and step up your game and yeah, why but not? But even after all of those things that you said, you would still slightly say yes to it? I would say 
a big no lah actually. <laughs> to be frank, I would say a big no because it's going to break your self-esteem. But yeah, no lah. <laughs> You girls, you, no. girls, you girls just can't make up your mind, can you? Where yeah, to say, eat? No, I would <laughs> say no, you know. Okay. But yeah, there are people out there who, despite telling, they don't listen, you know. Do your parents know about the truth? Of course they know. And they're not advertising it, right? No, because for them it's like, move on. Indian parents, you see one Indian parents, move on. See, yeah. Indian parents, all right. So, uh, do you have any uh, last uh, thing to say to our audience who's watching? I would say that... It has been a really, really nice interview session with Vic because not, 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 he's not good at all. Yeah, he's not good. He's not handsome. But yeah, I would say that... You just um, want me, that's all. <laughs> no, I would say it was a very interesting session because this kind of truth would actually help the upcoming girls, you know, when they step in, they literally know what they're getting themselves into. So that's your call, your choice, your decision. All right, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the show. I've been your host, Vic Menon, and thank you, Tana, for being on the show. Thank you, Vic. Till then, guys, peace out. I am out. <laughs>